<laughs> oh my god, that is the most brutal thing I have ever experienced. It's so loud! Yes guys, what is up? Hope you're having an awesome day. Welcome to Supercars of London. Today I'm being joined by Danny. Hello. What's up Danny, how's it going? Yeah man, I'm good. I'm very good. good. I mean you should be, it's your bloody birthday today. Woo! Happy birthday, 23. <laughs> Thank you very much. Today, yeah, and I'm surprising you with a ride in the coupe. <laughs> in a ride in the coupe. What a day! What a day! <laughs> now, in all seriousness, today we are going to McLaren Hatfield. Yes, we are. Just like good. A 600 LT Spider. Yes. Woo! If you haven't noticed, I am next door to Aston Martin Hatfield. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to McLaren Hatfield. Right next door, under the Grange franchise, we have arguably the best McLaren dealership I have ever seen because it's brand new. They had their launch event a couple of weeks ago whilst I was in Monaco, which was a shame that I wasn't able to attend. They've got this insane MSO McLaren 720S and my 600LT Spider, or not mine, but a 600LT Spider, is getting prepped as we speak. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it because when I was in Arizona, it rained. More on that, when we started this beast up, it's on Trofeoirs, meaning I need to warm those tires up I'm not going to have too much of a problem because the tarmac is beautifully dry and the weather's amazing. Of course. Oh, this is epic. That's and we've got the exhausts right there. We have. I might do a bit of an exhaust expert. Yeah, I think it's time. Should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. I need them though. Oh, great, that's it. My glass has been nicked for the video. <laughs> Convenient. There we go. No, you need to actually see, I don't Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Hey. But yeah, so I drove this car in Arizona. McLaren flew out a bunch of people to go and test drive their latest convertibles mm. and it rained the entire it rained, time. Yeah. That's hilarious. So <laughs> with the weather how good it is, I thought let's just take a 600 LT spider out. Yeah. I mean it I mean as well for the it's weather serious. as well, it couldn't have been better. It's very warm today. It's really warm. That is I think this is going to be quite a loud video. <laughs> Never gone through a tunnel in Supercar in my life. Never. <laughs> it's well, the very first time. You know what? I was going to say, well, McLaren's not a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, but actually the LT Spider is probably the best McLaren. This sounds unbelievable. That we could probably take through a tunnel. Yeah. I wonder if we're going to get flames. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that is a joke. Oh my god, 
first, oh. first supercar in a tunnel boxed off. And that hey, was that's a good not, way. That's not bad. That is a good way to start. get some whip cracks because now the engine's really warm. to our ears it's very similar to a, like a 918 in the sense that where they exit is much closer to our ears as if they were in the rear of the car but also the noise is coming out like the top of the car instead of coming out the back yeah so we're much more exposed to it and being the spider I was chatting to the guys at McLaren Hatfield and they were saying that it's so much louder than the coupe because when you've got the coupe it's a little bit of sound deadening but this is obviously the track version of the sport series car mm. You can feel all of the vibrations. It feels like a race car. Yeah. There's not that much sound deadening, but obviously being able to drop the roof completely or even keeping the roof up and just putting that rear window down. It does make a difference. Is a, is a massive luxury to have. Mm. And why out of any, I wouldn't buy a convertible Lamborghini. I wouldn't buy a convertible Ferrari. Yeah. But it makes sense to buy a convertible McLaren. Yeah, it just does. <laughs> it kind of makes it, I don't know, a bit more exciting as well. Yeah. So far <laughs> it is. It's so fast that you really have to come off the throttle at the right Wait, time yeah. <laughs> yeah. before you lose your license. <laughs> but it's all in the whip cracks. Not quite one then. Been in the car for a little bit. Yep. What's, can you describe the the sound? Can you describe the tone? Because I've got an idea in my head, but I'll give I'll help you out a little bit. I'll give you an acceleration. So you can... <laughs> oh, that sounds so good. I mean, I said it to you a minute ago. The way I describe the sound is very unique. Yeah. It's not Ferrari, it's not Lamborghini. It's just, it's its own thing. It's its own sound. It's when you get to those really high rev ranges, the seven, the eights, RPM, that it really kind of comes into its own. Just about to say, a lot of people are going to ask, what do you think? What, is there any comparison between the 675 and this? Because a lot of people are going to think it. The That's the initial thing that I, I was think thinking. The 675 is its older brother, but because it's, it feels like, well, it was the first LT that they did after the F1 That's GTR right. lockdown. So and it's very popular. I think it's a lot of people's favorite McLaren. That's, uh, to me, that's why it's, it's special. Yeah. 
Um, and quite similarly priced now with the 600 LT. They are. The they are. 6M5, you can get brand new. Two, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've made it back to the industrial estate yeah. <laughs> where McLaren Hatfield is. Yeah. Hence why I'm just calming down, letting the car <laughs> settle down because, yeah. oh my God, when this thing is alive, it is a monster. It is. It's savage. It's the only way to describe it. Summarize it. How many out of five flames? What would you give it? Five out of five? Four out of five? I'd give it four out of five. Four out of five. Four out of five. I feel like it could actually be, in your words, a little bit louder. Really? Yeah. Okay, Just yeah. a little bit louder. You're mental. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I actually think. I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to say it's four flames out of five. Yeah. And it gets there because it actually does flame. Yeah. And it's so loud. Mm. But if the tone was just a little bit more refined in one way or another, I can't yeah. quite put my finger yeah, on see, it. Yeah, neither can I, but I'm just saying there's just something. It's It, it, it just doesn't sing no. enough. No, that's right. But four out of five is very respectful for a stock It is. Clarin. It's very strong. Yeah. So we've now arrived back. That looks like a... That's a 570. A 570S. Yeah, 570S. Just wanted to make sure that I was getting it right. Um, massive thank you to McLaren Hatfield for being so hospita hospitable. Hos <laughs> giving us the best hospitality, basically. <laughs> yes, thank you. And because the weather it's is fantastic. so good, because the driving roads around here are so good, this is why... Well, this is my local dealership as well. It is. It is five minutes away from where I live, yeah. which is just the coolest thing ever. I've never had this sort of abundance of supercars and access to supercars so close to my house before. So this is a very, very cool thing for me to be able to do this. And hopefully, long may it continue. I'm just gonna leave the car there because I can see on my uh, reverse camera Bleeping. that I'm quite close. Yep. So yeah. Danny, happy birthday. Thank you very much. Whilst I couldn't get you in the <laughs> driver's seat because you're only 23. Ugh, it's uh, painful. <laughs> you guys, some of you will know how it feels. Some of you will know how it feels. Well, I know how it felt. Yeah, exactly. There you go. But the moment I turned 25, people still wouldn't give cars to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, now I'm 28 and here we are. And there you go, driving everything. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you've enjoyed this I have. insight. You have? Oh, I have. Well, I was, I was actually asking the viewers. <laughs> I'll just, I'll keep the shut now. Anyway, yes, leave a comment in the comment box whether you would upgrade the exhaust system on a 600 LT or whether you would go over just getting a 570S and then just putting a wacky exhaust on it. Because I think, obviously McLaren have done a hell of a lot of R&D into making this much more track focused, but on the road, you probably could get away with just having a really loud 570S. Yeah, and there are a few feel like I can hear something. Anyway, if that is something, I'll film it. If not, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Peace out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Tick that notification bell. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.